Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Queen's Vlog. Today we are here at Belmont Hotel Manila in Newport City. Yes, and we are spending some much needed quality time together while doing some self-care activities. We noticed kasi that so many of you are asking us for self-care tips on our Facebook, our Instagram community, and our Discord community also. So, ito na yon. We created the vlog so we can answer your questions. And by the way, these are activities that we do in real life talaga. So they're not made up. Whatever we share today are really self-care tips that we apply. So I hope you guys stick around and yeah. <laughs> to you, baby, you're golden Time moves, I never know this Just can't get enough Got me wonderstruck I knew the second I met you I was doomed to never forget you Just one single touch Got me wonderstruck You got me You got me favorite self-care tips na madali lang gawin. The first one is that I always prepare overnight oats before I sleep. So I can just put these ingredients together and I'll show you how in a bit. But you can just stick it in the fridge and then pagising mo, meron ka ng breakfast na masarap at healthy pa. So all you have to do is get rolled oats and put it in a cup or a bowl, whichever you prefer. And you can actually just add milk na. Pero I like to add flax seeds and chia seeds. Dami. <laughs> na para may extra fiber tayo today, guys. And then chia seeds for extra health benefits. And masarap rin kasi yung chia seeds pag naiwan siya overnight na nakababad kasi nage expand siya tapos para siyang sago. Like consistency when you wake up. So I like that extra texture in my overnight oats. Or the texture, feeling chef. And then just add milk. There we go. So you can just put that in the fridge, leave it overnight. And again, when you wake up, you can just add some fresh fruit. Favorite ko maglagay ng oranges, apples, or bananas. And then it's just a super nourishing and fulfilling way to start your day. Another thing that I like to do for self-care is to really make time to read. Since bata ako, sobrang bookworm ko na na ito talaga yung lagi kong hinihinge. In every occasion, I ask for books and meron akong library sa bahay kasi hindi ko sila mabitawan. Para ko silang baby. So, I just wanted to share some of my favorite books. Favorite author is Neil Gaiman. So, I'm really very much into fantasy and I started reading Neil Gaiman's books when I was really young. And until now, parang ito parin yung go-to ko when I just wanna escape from life and just kind of transport myself to another world. But when I turned 30, naging self-help book person na rin ako. <laughs> Para ako na gano, na quarter life crisis. So I started reading self-help books. So these are just some of the books that I've been reading. Okay, so um, one of my one of the first self-help books that I read was really The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, which really made a big difference in my life. Cause I'm one of those people who overthinks a lot and I feel like it contributes a lot to my daily stress and anxiety. So this book really helped me a lot. Kung ganun din kayo, then it could help. And this is the sequel, so everything is fucked. It's also just a follow-up and additional tips on how to be more present. And it really, really helps people who are generally easily stressed out. <laughs> and right now, I'm reading The Power of No, which I also think is very important for us to learn because I feel like sometimes we're tayo sa life because we feel like we have to please everyone, we have to always say yes. So that's basically what this book is all about. And I recently came across this quote that is super self-care for me. Um, it says, when you say yes to someone, make sure you're not saying no to yourself. So, ayun. Just in line with the book, I feel like that has been my motto for 2022. And it's really helped me make better decisions, prioritize things that will really be good for me. Hey guys! Okay, so it's my turn to share with you a little self-care tip. 
I usually make a green shake when I'm feeling active and I'm preparing for a shoot. Meron akong pinaghahandaan na photo shoot usually pag mga swimsuit kanyan. Ito talaga, it really helps detoxify and cleanse your body. One more thing, I am more um, disciplined with doing this whole routine. Pagka nandyan si Jeremy, dahil nababantayan niya ako at nache-check niya talaga na ginagawa ko siya palagi. Um, and also, when he's around, there are more greens uh, and less fruits. It makes it hard for me, honestly, to um, to drink it because walang sweetness. But since ako yung kasama niyo today, matamis siya. So here we have some lettuce. Usually, I add in some celery as well, but we don't have that today. But that's an option, you know? Some people also like to mix in some cucumber or some mint leaves. There are no rules, really, to what you can put in a green shake. A lot of people ask me, kasi, ano yun nilalagay mo sa green shake mo? This is just one of the ways you can do it, but there are so many other ways that you can. Fruits naman, again, walang rules. Whatever is available or whatever is in season. Berries are very good for you. Minsan pomelo, apple, grape. Kung favorite niyo yung mango, pwede din yun. So, again, walang tama o mali dito. Depende yan sa taste mo kung ano mag-work for you. Of course, a little bit of water. And there we go. Madali lang gawin to, especially when you have a blender like this. Like, I'm not... It's, this isn't a sponsored post. <laughs> but, uh, but I love... Uh, bullet shakers like this because it's so easy you can bring it anywhere with you so walang excuse na hindi mo siya magawa and mabilis lang pwede rin siyang meal replacement okay so I'll add in some water first that's that should be good let's bring some fruit in there paparami yata yung water pero okay Yung grapes ang ilalagay ko for extra sweetness. Some lettuce. Marami na to. Si Jeremy, pag gumagawa siya, umaabot dito. Hindi ko kaya. And then you can add in your favorite protein powder, your favorite mix, whatever, mga supplements, mga vitamins nyo. Again, walang rules kasi iba-iba tayo ng mga pangangailangan. So I can't tell you, oh, ito dapat yung ilagay nyo. Kasi it really depends on what your body needs. But in this case, this is what I have. This is what we'll work with. Okay. Ganun lang kadali. Ayan na. Um, and if you ask me, I mean, look at it. The more colorful, the better, di ba? That's what you're putting inside your body. And if you ask me, this could be a meal replacement also. It depends on what you put in there. And typically, this is best in the morning, just before you start your day. Okay, let's do it. Ears closed, please. I like to add more water just so it's a little runny and then I can drink it. But there we go. Ready? And that's your healthy green drink in the morning. Mmm. Mmm. Good call on the fruits. Masarap siya. I like doing this especially if you're not the type to munch on fruits and vegetables because it's easier to consume kasi na inum mo na siya. This was so effective for me when I was preparing for Miss Universe. And whenever, nowadays, whenever I prepare for a photo shoot that requires me to be toned and fit, really, the only way to go is to, you know, go organic and have your fruits and vegetables. Walang cheap, walang daya. Walang magic pill, guys. You just have to go back to basics and have your fruits and vegetables. And that will work wonders for your skin, your weight, your well-being, your mental health, lahat. So cheers to that. So hi guys, one of the self-care tips that I have is a DIY 
hair mask. Ako kasi, I have really, really curly hair. And because I have really, really curly hair, it's really, really prone to breakage, to dryness. So I really have to do something extra to make sure na wala siyang frizz, na strong siya, and that it will grow faster and longer. So I actually have a very simple and easy hair mask recipe. All you need is VCO, so virgin coconut oil, organic, no preservatives. Very, very important. And what I love about VCO is that it is made here in the Philippines, so super duper local. Um, what else you need is organic honey. Um, again, it has to be raw and organic, no chemicals. Actually, with curly hair especially, chemicals really damage the protein of your hair. So, kailangan talaga as much as possible organic and you need one raw egg. Alright, let's start with the egg. So, all you have to do is break the egg into two. Oh, diba? Cooking show. Bam! And then you need to whisk it. Whisk, 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 whisk. And you make sure that you whisk it well. So once you do that, you can get two tablespoons of virgin coconut oil. <laughs> First, you gotta open the jar. All right, and then next you need, of course, the organic coconut, virgin coconut oil. You need two tablespoons so that's one and two and then next is raw honey all you need is actually one tablespoon this is half a tablespoon so i'm gonna put two just because i don't want to mix it all right so now you can mix this first the virgin coconut oil and the honey. Once it is mixed, put your whisked egg in there. All right, when everything is mixed, all you have to do is put it in your hair. So what you can do is you get like sections of it because you want to make sure that you put or you cover as much hair as possible. So each section you put it until everything's covered. You leave it there for about 20 to 30 minutes and then you shower it out. Don't worry, medyo mahirap siya tanggalin talaga. So you might have to, you know, rinse it two or three times. But I tell you, it will leave your hair shiny and nourished and moisturized. So yeah. Let me know if you guys tried this and how it went for you down in the comments below. Okay, so one more thing that I want to share with you is how to do your skincare at home. Uh, this is something that I also do, especially pag hindi, you know, schedule doesn't permit me to go outside or to physically go to a clinic, then I can do this routine at home. Again, like what I mentioned kanina, there's no really right or wrong when it comes to self-care. Uh, I also can't say that this routine will be perfect for you kasi may kanya-kanya tayong skin and what works for me might work for you but we all have different needs, you know, our skin has different needs. I think nakadagdag siya sa self-care kasi pag inaalagaan mo yung sarili mo, you feel more confident. You feel like you can literally face the world. You can. You have more confidence when you do your Zoom meetings, when you have to face people. Yeah, nakakatulong talaga siya. E, totoo naman. When you feel good about yourself and you're taking care of yourself, it boosts, boosts your confidence. So, na uso na to dito sa Pilipinas the past few years. Everybody's been wearing masks. I have a lot of these and one more tip is you can stick them in the fridge. That's what I usually do. Nasa ref yung mga face mask ko para malamig siya pag ginamit mo siya. And it just adds to the experience. Aside from this, before I put it on, you can also use your favorite moisturizer. If you have any of your favorite tools, beauty tools at home, tapos may time ka, you can also use that. You can use something like this. Some people use a jade roller. 
Nauuso na rin yun. You can also use that. Uh, it really depends. Walang right or wrong. And to me, all of them are effective. It just It's just a matter of what your personal preference is. So, usually, I will wear a face mask when I am not doing anything, when I don't have to face people. Alam kung wala kong kailang record na video, wala kong makeup. Sometimes, I do it after working out. Um, minsan, masarap din to sa habang may iba ka mga ginagawa. The, the point here is for you to put it on and just forget about it. Tapos, tanggalin mo na lang siya after a few minutes. Ay, ang sarap. Lamig. Hmm! Ang sarap ng feeling. And then you feel good, right? Kasi pag tinanggal mo na siya, parang sumama yung makeup ko. Charot! <laughs> Tinanggal mo na siya, malamig sa skin, it feels really good. And um, again, when you take care of yourself, and alam mo inaalagaan mo yung skin mo, yung balat mo, it just makes you feel good. And then you, you're, you're on the right track because you have time to take care of your skin. Hi guys! So another self-care activity that I love to do is actually coloring. So I actually buy these really cute watercolor pens that are easy to use and as well as these coloring notebooks. Um, I like the ones that actually have, you know, positive messages on them. So this one's all about self-love and embracing, you know, yourself and your flaws. So and it's inspirational then I like to use like my favorite colors. Um, honestly, it's really more about, sorry, you know, it's really more about having that time alone to think. Um, it's kind of like meditation for me as well. Because it's kind of mindless. Like when you pick the color, you kind of just go along and give, you focus on what you're doing. And because you're focusing on just that one activity, all your problems, all the things that you have to worry about throughout the day, they escape from your mind. And it just gives you a good refresher lang talaga. Um, I also love doing mga paint by numbers. So I've been working on this one for a while now. And I don't rush myself when it comes to finishing the work. I really take my time. Kasi it's really more about relaxing than it is about you know, getting it done and and having it perfect. Um, I, parang hindi ko siya. I don't aim for it to be perfect. It's more of the motion of it. So, yeah, I really do suggest that you guys try it. They're cheap, naman. You can find it in almost any art store out there, and find something that inspires you. You know, a kind of artwork that you want to hang in your house, maybe. Look at it and, and feel good about it, right? So yeah, that's my tip two when it comes to self-care. mo! What can you do to Oi! Nandiyan pala kayo, guys! Sorry! <laughs> Hello! Can I have pizza? Hi! <laughs> one, one, two! <laughs> Three slices. Thank you. And toho. Pwede oh, ba ako judge? Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. Sarap. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 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 I don't nakapajamas ka lang or kung bahay na super comfy tapos one occasion eating your cravings kung naman araw-araw guys <laughs> pero de ba may mga araw naman talaga na ganon na parang pagod na pagod ka stress ka so you just wanna treat yourself mm -hmm. definitely some pizza definitely and even like this no just hanging out with your friends yung tipo hindi ka lang may camera all the time hindi tipo yung parang kaset of lahat na picture Instagram perfect. Mm. And you're really just spending time with each other and just living in the moment. And the boot the boot on the price. Ganyan, ganyan nagtutulungan. Tsaka 
one more thing. Parang it's nice what we see online, diba? It's really good content. But sometimes it makes you feel like but di ko makaya na ganun ka aesthetic palagi, maganda every day. every day. Hindi makatotohanan. So we just want to remind you that being in your pajamas, pigging out, looking at memes, watching, watching TV, it's also self-care. Choosing to put your phone down. Ah, wala tayong phone, no? Wala. wala tayong phone. Choosing to put your phone down and just disconnecting and not hindi ka na nag-aayos, kanyan. It's okay. Diba? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, life is not perfect and it's okay and we should you know accept that and be okay with that ako there are days talaga na buong araw guys as in di ako maliligo sabihin ko na ngayon di ako maliligo buong araw manonood lang ako ng favorite netflix show ko na super feel good it's one of my favorite netflix shows that i watch it's called heartland it's set in canada I've said this multiple times. I really love the show. I love it. I'll spend all day doing that. And you know, that's okay. As long as you don't do it naman every day, di ba? Yeah, of course. But every once in a while, why not just stay on the couch and watch Netflix all day? Tell you, what do you guys usually do? Ako, ito. Are you still with us? <laughs> no, but seriously, um, yun yung, yun yung happiness ko sa namin. I live with my parents. Tapos mahilig yun sila kumain. So usually parang ano ba yun natin? Tapos parang it's like a big thing na nice. excited kami kumain together. Like kakain namin yung mga cravings namin. But I also love playing video games all day. Like pag wala akong gagawin minsan, gusto ko lang maglaro ng Warzone or Valorant. Yun, magyayaya na ako after lunch. Start na tayo hanggang gabi. <laughs> it happens. Too often. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, dapat rin talaga. Minsan I get carried away. Yes, That's okay. Yes, Minsan yes. nangyayari rin yun na parang masyado ko nag-enjoy tapos ganun na lang. Pero as long as you catch yourself, yes. get back on track and find that healthy balance between being that girl. That girl. That girl. That girl and yeah. this girl. And the real girl. <laughs> the real girls. Come yeah. on. Ako naman, I love... Like when I know na wala akong work sa araw na yon, walang mga pending na kailangan tapusin na trabaho na literally a day where I can just not do anything. I love those days. At really, truly, I don't do anything. I will watch TV or look at memes. Usually sa memes, yun talaga ako. All day. I could just look at memes and funny videos. Magahanap ako na mga nakakatawa. Tapos isesend ko sa kanila para ma validate yung pagiging yung nakakatawang na hanap ko. And then I also love ordering food. So parang ifo fulfill ko din yung mga cravings ko. Excited ako. Ano kaya yung pang breakfast? Tapos may lunch pa, merienda, may dinner pa, midnight snack. Oh, di ba? All the possibilities. Oh, oh. <laughs> Tapos, ah, uh, uh, lang. Actually, yun lang. Ay, pero ang, ang, ang maganda doon, when you take a break and you really just shut off, minsan, doon ka magkakaroon ng mga bagong ideas eh. Pagka ready ka ng bukas, back on track na ako ulit. Pero kahit na yung nakaupo ka lang na ganyan, nanonood ka lang ng TV, minsan may biglang papasok na idea. Di ba? May inspire ka na parang, ah, bukas ito gagawin ko. So, tama ka. Tama ka. It, it should be the right balance of work and play. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So thanks again guys for watching this video and comment down below, are you that girl? Or are you the real girl? Or are you both girls? We all are. Give us your activities. Maybe we'll try them out. Um, of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And share nyo rin sa mga friends nyo if you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to know more updates about us, the queens, you can go to www thequeens.ph our digital workbook is also there available to download so go 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 enjoy form of self care din yun because it's all about self discovery and realizing your inner queen so download the free workbook now and remember we are all queens <laughs>